That's right, it's time to go. So here's old dog tack at it again. We're aboard uh, the Celestial Being spaceship, which is where uh, Katie Mannequin's currently at. And she's showing dog tack and Patrick, her husband, Patrick Mannequin around. And he keeps calling her Colonel, and she's like, please, I'm a general, not a Colonel. And then he sees a huge uh, ball box thing. And that's the supercomputer, Vader. It compiles and controls information from all over the world. Dogtack is very interested in this because he works for the bad guys and that would be fucking rad. And uh, Katie says that the only reason um, that Celestial Being were able to fight against the entire planet was because Vader organized everything. And now the Federation is uh, allowed to also benefit from it. And then a faceless wonder comes in and tells uh, Katie that uh, the report on that has just been finished. General Mannequin. And so, and so she explains to Dog uh, that recently there was a derelict exploration vessel that drifted all the way to Earth and uh, the Federation figured they'd deal with it before any accident happens. And according to what the patrol fleets uncovered, the vessel in question is the Europa which was sent to Jupiter, you know, about 130 years ago. And from what they can tell, there are no signs of life aboard. A ghost ship, so to speak. From its current course, it's going to crash into the orbital ring, so Katie orders uh, the patrol fleet contacted, and they'll do plan D-34, blasting it with GN missiles to order its trajectory. And here's this guy, Descartes, and he's an innovator, as confirmed by Vader itself, and... Uh, He's just like, <laughs> he's like, wow, that's very disrespectful. And he says, yeah, well, I'm fucking Descartes Jammin or whatever his name is. And uh, being a military uh, guinea pig, it's the way at your manners. And um, when Dog asks, the Faceless Wonder tells, uh, says that the innovators are an evolution of mankind with enhanced situation awareness, precognition, increased quantum brainwaves, blah 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 blah. What's most important is that when in a field of GM particles, an innovator can join his mind with others through those quantum brainwaves. Patrick doesn't understand a word of it, but that doesn't matter because the patrol fleet has reported that the missiles hit the target and they're working on confirming the shifted trajectory. Descartes doesn't need to. Uh, wait for the results, and he's like, nah, it's already failed. And they're like, how can you tell? He's like, ah, just a feeling. And then instantly a report comes in that he's right, no changes in the Europa's courts. The missile should have been more than enough to pull that off, so who knows? But whatever, Descartes going out there. Isn't uh, she interested in seeing what innovators are capable of? So Andre and his goons try and shoot down the ship, but it's just too big for their missiles to do any damage. And uh, Andre yells like, don't give up, we just stop this thing right now, it might crash land on Earth. But, you know, it's not looking good. Uh, but Descartes shows up with his Gadelzar. And uh, he appreciates uh, the opportunity to take out uh, this print up frustration on something. And he blows it up with his mobile armor. Bonk, it's gone. Very impressive. Wow, amazing. Everyone aboard the Celestial Beings is like, wow! And Dog internally is like, hmm, I need to tell Hazard about Vader and the Innovators. This is some crazy shit. And as for the Europa, it's breaking apart and most of the fragments are burning away in Earth atmosphere, but a few have fallen to the surface, which fucking sucks. And Kelly is like, hmm, that's weird. Best to play this one safe. And then in the California base, Billy Katagiri has been called up by Graham for his opinion on the fragments and he says that it's surprising that they didn't burn to a crisp. But why does Graham care about them? He says, well, he caught wind of uh, General Mannequin ordering an investigation on things and got curious. He's always quick on the take, old Mr. Bushido. But as luck would have it, Billy's been transferred to some space research institute. So you'll let Graham know if he finds anything, and uh, that'd be great. And since he's already called, does Billy have any news on the development of the Brave after he'd gone around testing the prototype? And yeah, it's going to be rolled out by the end of the month. Roll out. At the end of the month. And Billy says they're great, but they'll demand more skilled pilots than the new standard, the Riots. And then Graham's like, mm, grumpy boy. 
and Billy apologised for bringing up the riots, all with them costing him two of his former subordinates' lives. But the destruction of the riot squad happened after he was reassigned, so he shouldn't let it eat, eat away at him. And with that, Billy just looking, signs off. And then Graham internally is like, Once again, I'm forced to watch my men leave this life while I remain. Perhaps I'm just not meant to lead others. They had some rough edges, but there was undeniable potential in those two. Ensign Burge, Lieutenant Spencer. Little does he know. At least one of them is still alive. And by that, we obviously mean two of them are still alive. Here's Jin. The, uh, Arnie, why did you... The, where am... Yeah, and the mysterious person. Oh, thank goodness you're awake. We, y you're... Look, it's a weird OG lady. My name's... Uh, Ayu. Ayul Dillon. Ayu? Yeah, Ayul Dillon. Dillon, are you Professor Novels? Her daughter, yes. It's good to meet you, Lieutenant Spencer. We feared we were too late by the time we found the wreckage of your riot, but it looks like my mother's surgery was a complete success. Truly a relief. W Professor Novel saved my life. Is there anyone else? Did my subordinates of the riot squad make it? Ah, uh, that, that's... They're all gone, aren't they? Shinda. I... I'm, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Lieutenant Spencer. I went and lost my mind. Major Graham Prof Professor Nova warned me again and again and I still did it. But I just couldn't forgive him. My old friend threw his lot in with terrorists and I just couldn't forgive him. Do you still resent him? I do, and I also want to take him down to avenge my subordinates. But I'm too weak to do anything. No, you're wrong. My mother said there's not strength inside you, Lieutenant Spencer. The Professor said? You're somewhere my mother needs. Please, would you fight together with us? Will you help us in the battle that's about to begin? A battle that will lead the way to the future? A battle that will lead the way to the future? What a surprise. And then, here we are. Uh, Alvis, Mr. Gucci brings bad news to Makabe here on the bottom. Curry has run off! Remember that really suspicious lady who kept trying to get blown up and do weird shit and whenever they would, anything went bad, she'd internally go, Ha ha ha, I'm definitely not evil. But she's run off with loads of intel from the FATA system to pilot data. And basically, fucking decades of stuff. Uh, Yumiko here doesn't understand why Karyo would do that, but Makabe is like, dang, with the heroes after it. And Yumiko's like, meh. Uh, Mizuguchi suspects the same, because uh, he's too intricate to be anyone else's plan. And uh, that said, he does chide Makabe for getting played by the young lady. He warned him about this. But what's done is done, and Makabe wants to prepare for the worst, so he tells Mizuguchi, uh, Mizuguchi, to, uh, yeah, Mizuguchi, to uh, grab his team and head for Judah. And Yumiko can't do much but quietly grunt. Duh, what a stupid thing you did, Yukipe. Yukipe Karia. And the Judah outskirts, we get some Fafna music. Problem, Kazuki? Tommy, uh, no, I. Something happened for you and Minashiro? Hmm? You two seem to have drifted apart lately. So as he said, the Fafners are what's important to him. I tried to understand him, but I just couldn't. At all. Kazuki. I wound up injuring his left eye back when we were kids. I've been trying to least stand in for that eye ever since. But he's changed so much. We're all just tools of war to, for him. Tommy. Can I ask you to remember who I am? Where'd that come from? I'm scared that I might eventually get used to all this fighting, and I, I feel like I'm slowly changing into someone else. I think it's possible for anyone to stay the same forever, but what I know for a fact is that we're all still here, aren't we? Tommy. No matter how you might change, I'll always remember you, Kazuki. Thank you. Listen, I need to head back, but I want you to sit down with the Shiro and talk things out, okay? Uh, are you there? You are not here. Or rather, you can't be here. Miss Karia, when did you get to Japan? Kazuki Makabe, I can grant you a new home. One that would suit you. Uh, Anu. Damn, weird. And then inside Judah, Melena relays a message from uh, uh, Ian. Noriega san. Papa. Yeah, talking about uh, Papa Ian. Uh, the Zabani and the Harate are both uh, undergoing their checks. They should be able to take the field very soon. And that's a new Gundam for Lock On, but the other one's been for Hallelujah. Banya Haruto and uh, 
Chang Chang didn't know there are other Meisters uh, than him and Setsuna, but from what Joey saw in the movie, there are four. And Izuna saw it too, and remembers how awesome the scene where the four Meisters charged the enemy army was. And uh, Michelle's like, yes, yeah, so that's you being a pretty big hero, on Earth, huh? And then Lockon's like, listen, it was nothing like the movie, don't worry about it. And, uh, and then... Kirima! So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, thanks to Kiriyama's uh, shenanigans, uh, we're more despised by the world than being seen as heroes, but whatever we do, folks spin it against us. Getting those new Gundams won't do much if we're not welcome anywhere. But the Gundam Meisters thing, two of the remaining, too. One's no longer in this world, and looks like, ah, oh, sorry for asking about the Gundam Meisters. And the, which is Tiaria, he's fucking dead as hell, except obviously he's not. And uh, Alilu is currently traveling the world with his sweetheart. And last uh, felt heard, uh, they were headed for Eastern Europe, but no contact for several days. And Sumeragi doubts there's anything to worry about those two, but um, I'll still try calling them every now and then just in case. And with that done, Setsuna comes over to talk to Sumeragi, and uh, there's something bothering him. And it's about the fragments of the derelict ship that fell to Earth yesterday. Do we know where those wound up? Not really. Most we heard was that the Federation were conducting an investigation on the things. Is he feeling something? And he says, I don't know. This isn't unease, more like anxiety over the something that's about to happen. And then uh, Lockon's like, innovator senses tingling, my guy, let's go. But alarms start be blinging, and Mr. Garber calls it with bad news. The Mark Elf has just launched. It's like, wait, did Sochi order him to launch for something? And he's like, nope, no orders, no reason to deploy right now. And more at Tsugu, and then Osmos like sounds like an uh, unauthorized sortie to me. Hell, can't even rule this out being desertion, depending on the context. And Maya can't believe it! And then here he is flying around. And here she is. Having second thoughts? No, I already made my choice. Bes besides, I felt like I would stop being me if I stayed that course. Right, that wasn't where you should be. You always said that the true reason why the Fafners were built should be known. He? I know he thought. That man? Let's get going then. Your new home is waiting. This is for the best. I know it is. This is mission 20. Rupture. Crossing paths. And all the Fafnil tiles have, like, some weird shit in the middle. Of them. I hate it. This is... Oh, where are we? Jam, why are you inside the Mark Elf's cockpit? Ah, oh, we hit... Oh, hello there, Kazuki. I was playing hide and seek with Erebus. Uh, I think I fell asleep. Hide and... Now what am I going to do? I can't bring you with me. Yeah. Kazuki, what is this place? Scary, like there's no life flowing around here. Now that you mention it, is this the ruins of a city or something? This carrier, do you know what this place is? As you noted, it's what remains of a city. One that was destroyed during the Festum's first assault 30 years ago. Festum? And since then, the people have faced away from the truth, dedicating themselves only to building false paradises on Earth. But, in the end, it was just that. False. What they created wound up actually being a beacon for a new calamity. What do you mean? Tatsumi is actually calling the Festum? Correct. That's why we create a new paradise. New paradise? Hey, Kazuki, did you hear something come from that heap of metal over there? Oh, well, I'm not hearing anything from it. That's because he's a fool and here's some bugs. Festum! What are they doing here? Miss Carrier, we need to run. I can't take all these by myself. No, we can't leave. But, but... Fight, Makabe. That's an order. K Kazuki, what are we doing now? Ugh, I don't even know if I can uh, do this without the Siegfried system support. But I don't have any other choice. And so... He's doing alright. Like, he's level 22. You don't know what level they are, but they're not that much higher than that. And he's pretty upgraded, and they're Grendels, so... And, like, there's forests to sit in, right? And he doesn't have Cham as a sub-pilot, which is bullshit, to be honest. In my onions. Nice gun, nerd. Do, 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 do. 
Is the rail gun? Weird little dog comes at us. What was he even aiming at? Number two in this. Dude, there's just one left. Come on now. Hang in there, Kazuki. I'm sure everyone's coming over to help. No, there won't be any help coming. Where? Well, come on. Aren't they all your friends? You gotta believe in them. You're wrong, champ. The truth is, I left them. Huh? Eh? You left? More of them. Are the festival calling each other, or is something drawing them in? That sound. Is that sound coming from over there? I'm sure. Listen, do you hear it? I don't hear anything, champ. Oh, damn it, wait, this is going, wait. Y the that's... Hmm, these Sphinx types don't seem to be all that. Look, Kazuki, they look just like for the Fafners. They gotta be friends. I guess, but... Are those Fafners? Triple Six, have you confirmed whether or not the target's been assimilated? And this is canon. And this is, uh, I don't know, who's this fucking guy? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Hey, no formalities, alright? Drop the code name, just call me by my name. Michio. I also take Mr. Michio, Master Michio, or... My superior officer, sir. It wouldn't be right to address you like that. You look so stiff, jeez. But, fine. Whatever. How about we also take this chance to see what the not done models can do? What's going on? Just what are those units? Makabe, your focus should be on repelling the festum. Hurry up and get to it. I'm up. Ugh, hold a slave driver. So here's the the Megatherian, which sucks. It is. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Jeez, you must sound like a broken record. So this is uh, Michio Hino in the Megatherian. He's voiced by uh, Hideki Hori, who's Vildark in. Z3, Seldar in Moondwell, he Seldar in Moondwellers, Schwarzbruder in G Gundam. And he's a snipey boy and he doesn't have focus and he's gonna get hit a lot and be, he's gonna make me sad. But his big move doesn't have any morale requirements, so at least he can do a snipey stuff. Garm 44. Plasma rifle. Okay, and so Feff secret number three, he needs to kill three or more of this batch. But we don't we've got the secret so And that whole not dodging thing sucks when you gotta deal with these guys who just delete you if your morale goes too low. This is Canon Memphis Scorpion in the the Babylon, and she's pretty good. She's basically Kazuki, but not as good at ranged. And the, like their units are just trash. But are you there? I was, but not anymore. And then ten horns which thou sawest, and they and the beast shall hate the harlot. They shall make her desolate and naked and devour her flesh and burn her with fire. It's like, alright, Canon Memphis, calm down. Okay, 
やる気はあるの私からは逃げられん She's voiced by Sanae Kobayashi. As you all know and love, is in fucking everything. She's Sarah Gnome in Macro Zero. She's Harry Potato in Dog Tato. She's a uh, Newt in Elf and Light. Raker in Aquarian. Gemini Sunrise in Sakura Wars OVA. Catherine in Macross Frontier. Suomi, the, the nun in Queer and Evil. But yeah, Strike, Invincible, and Mercy, not useful. This lady, strike, flash, and crit. Can we get him in a forest? Is that a What video game is she in? Other than fucking all of them. Oh, Hatsur and Only Wish in All Dreams. Ven Ventanel in Mega Man ZX. Shong she oh, she's Shong Mina. In a, in a bunch of the Soul Calibers, but not all of them, which is weird. Dang it, dude, you got one job. She's Cat in Gravity Rush. Get him the bop on these things, that'll help. Because even though we don't need the secret, it's nice to do it anyway, right? Especially when it's stuff like this on a stage where units join and they need to do things. Because that's like the purest little puzzle point, right? The Luga Rats.
The core. All right, here we go. Nice work. Nice bop. So that's one bop for him currently. best move shall we? If he could fucking hit anything, but unfortunately he's fucking got a barge. So here's the plasma rifle. Many shots, one kill. So, that's two bobs for him. Let's do her big smooth on this big boy. Even the old wormy. Leave him alone. What part of leave him alone? Did you not understand? Fight the right guy, fuck hell. That's him getting three bops. Like it's over. Mr. Carrier, are those Fafners? Do it, triple six. D Way ahead of ya. <laughs> Why is he attacking us? They're, they're not friendlies? Moving to capture the Notong Not model. <laughs> Kazuki, straight strong, Kazuki. Who, who are you? I'll make this take any longer than it has to. Hold on, Cannon. I'm picking up a big heat signature. It's... Kazuki, yeah? Get your ass over here right now. I've got a punch waiting for you. Shin, that's really not the best approach. It's time for some correction. Are those their motherships? Look, Kazuki, they're all here. Uh, uh. Now you do your part. Call out to them and go, Help me! Yeah, I, I, oh, oh, oh. yeah. Hey, show, yo, can you hear me? That voice, champ. Why are you in the Mark Elf? Kazuki, who are these people? Was your plan always to meet up with them and flee? No, 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 no. See, he did want to run away, but not with these guys. He got tricked by them and trapped, but he just wanted to leave. And all right, champ, slow down, because you're not making any sense. Ugh, you're such a dummy, show, show no vaka. <laughs> this, this isn't good. I didn't expect them to get here so quickly. That's one of Elvis's transport ships. Target secured. Better make like bananas and split. Roger that. Yo, stop! Dang, it's 
from Festum's oh, oh, what? Festum Sphinx, Alhenteris and Grendel types, dead ahead. What's going on? What are Festum doing in a place like this? No reports of Festum ever appearing anywhere outside of Tatsumi or related facilities in the past 30 years. But the fact is, there are plenty of them right in front. Our only option is to fight. Fight? But what about Kazuki? The deserter is irrelevant. Whoa, whoa, what'd you say? Nanda to Teme? Teme? Minashiro, that's exactly why Kazuki left. I'm afraid this conversation must wait. All units deploy immediately. Okay, so who do we want to bring? Obviously we want to bring all the weird little fellas. Guess we get to bring everybody. Guess we get to bring everybody. Alright. Sure. Yes, it's fine. What am I feeling? It's like some kind of pulse. That's... Is that part of the downed exploration vessel from Jupiter? Why is it making the Festum react like that? Wait. No. Are they calling out to each other? And then, Kazuki weighs heavy on our minds. We must first turn our sights upon the Festum. Set forth. But be sure to exercise caution. Sally forth, my good dudes. So now there's these guys. Look at them. Oh, just awful. So there's these guys. Yeah, so we got weird little leggy boys. Weird little different leggy boys, different types of. So the ones on top are Sphinx D. And the one on top here is Sphinx. Yeah, so this is Sphinx A, Sphinx C, Sphinx D, and then Alhantares. Then we got another Sphinx C and a Sphinx D here. Awful. This is just... Ugh. Just hideous. Disgusting creatures. Absolutely just awful. Doshita! Come on now, don't be shy. Why don't you ask us where we are? The answer is obvious. Where we are, that is who we are, is hell! These fucking idiots. Where we are, that is whomst. We are those whomst. Ore tachi ga jigoku da. Double bop and you got the gunfight, very nice. So that's just trash. Can't hit a weird little dog because they read her brain. Here comes Guan Yu. Hi. Fight. But they always do the same stupid shit. Awful. That's just garbage. I hate them. Should be one shot in all of the the Grendels. He just leveled up his command. Could have had max level command already.
be on your guard, Sao Sao. These creatures, I am aware, they may read my mind at their leisure. I shall not enable them to evade my blade. He's fucking ripped. <laughs> Admittedly, he's like almost upgraded dude right now. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Dang! It's a real science fiction shit here, says the man in the little bug robot. Whose name's ASAP. Because his dad was in the military and that's what happens. Why was Chum with Kazuki? The workload just keeps piling up. You fucking what? Come on. Hmm, do you think my song would work on these? Oh well, whatever happens, happens. Going in. Just backstab the weird dog. Disgusting. The song did indeed work on ケチ。訓練通りやれば大丈夫だ。わ、わかった。ほら、ほら。Nice job, guys. You didn't even get him down to be fucking too short. Absolute garbage. Met Joey up here. There is he. Joe, Joe, Joey, Joe, Joe, Joey, Joe, Joe. So these are festum. Can't let him move in on Hero Man, or even he might get assimilated. That'd be jacked up.
always take down some big boys, or at least try our best. Always gonna be a goddamn parade of baddies crawling out the woodwork, huh? And Kazuki's getting further and further away while we're here. Tell's a good boy. Fell over four, nicely done. Yeah, now these guys. Are you there? These are called Sphinx type. Huh, someone was feeling quite witty when they christened them with the name of a beast known for asking questions. Not the time to be impressed, Al, you know. We've got to wrap this up quick and go after Kazuki. And if we were on the other route, she'd be like, Be wary, Kuro, your simple thoughts shall be read as an open book by these creatures. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, I know, I'll try and think as little as I can. Can't do shit, they're too far away. But luckily... Thou Thou is here. Thou Thou. ASAP, do you hear that? Hey, what? Something wrong, Erebus? Just a sensation. It's like someone's voice is ringing inside my head. Got a bunch of weird magical babies hearing shit in their brain. Chabang, what 
たが言葉も持たぬ者に理想を語っても無駄というもの Big boy. So why is yelling at him, telling him to fucking do better, not be so shitty? That's a little looking at a little carrot. Even dodge, but they dongled her up. Get him, Sao Sao. Kotoba mo mota nu mono ni iso o katatte mo muda toyu mono. Sono tamashi goto moyashiku shi aru. Dai ku. Good 
big lily slash or whatever. Orchid. Oh no, more jokers! into these things. No, 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 where's where's this other than just it's some jokers showing up and they're like, oh jeez. Yeah, what we got more of them? That's what's going on. I thought the festival were only gonna show around Tatsumiya nowadays. There we go. Yeah, there's some more freaking jokers. Where's the nerve crackler? Creepy. The time for the Atlantis strike. Now, fly. Now that's the big boy damage. Are you there? <laughs> the princess is gonna beat the shit out of me! Now you control some armors that just happen to be here, don't worry. Bring them with us everywhere now. He nerve cracked his own brain. Big void damage for the for everybody now. The deceive is doing good. an oof, but he's fine. Can't it for shit? I suppose it's fine. Points. 
Kingdoms, so the three kingdoms, he's seeding. Level two. Very nice. Jokers, which is where we get to down here. More, oh, there's no end to these things. And then Chimi, this boat's ill for us. They can replenish their forces far more effectively than our army can. If this turns to war of attrition, we'll be at a clear disadvantage. And then Lux, but on the other hand, we can't retreat with so many enemies surrounding us. They force our hand. Ready the Macross cannon. Energy supply across all sections green. All units within the blast area to retreat immediately. Macross cannon, energy charge, 91, 92, 93%. Mark several festum within firing range. All hands brace for impact. Fire the Macross cannon and tear them apart. And then... Die! Macross cannon, hashayoi! Macross cannon, hashayoi! What? 
アクロスキャノンぶちかませうーじゃーしやがれー They destroyed all those in just one attack? That's some serious firepower they're rocking. The pulse from before disappeared. What's going on? Get your jaws off the dirt, maggots. They're still fishing them around, so don't let up. <laughs> Goes without saying. We ain't letting even one of them get out of here in one piece. That's these jokers, isn't they? My cross cannon. And Goku's other son, Goo Tanks. End up cement to Big Dong Energy? No, because the Big Dong man was like, please, I'll give you money to peace with me now. I'm sorry. Why, is, why are you bullying me? Here's the deceived's new move. Cool things that happened so far. Moritsuku's betrayal was all a big ruse, and isn't a fucking nerve cracked himself. He jabbed himself in his own brain to undo a bunch of bullshit because he's cool. Yes, this is the big wizard boy. Oh, I guess we're not going to see the new move where he put. Basically, plugs the little things into some abandoned armors that we blow up, and then he controls them like puppets, then smashes them into the enemy. He's a wild little dude. It is Marvel. Kazuki, was he really housing some proverbial evil spirits like Tomioji said? Nah, dude, he's just annoyed at his best friend and telling him that he's just uh, at all and that he doesn't care if he dies. Seats. 
thing to say Oh never mind Shin's gonna say it. he's gonna talk a bunch of shit that no one cares about. Fuck this guy. I hate him. I just want any clan to say anything at all. But no fuck off. Yeah, I've no time to waste on you. Move what their design looks like, their animation is still just some shit behind their head clothes and then some orbs appear. In fact, level 2 on the hero, man. Very nice. Festive, uh, confirmed destroyed. 
Managed to pull through somehow. Yeah, but the group with Kazuki's long gone now. Duh. One of those gold pieces of crap went around again in the way. And that raises the question where did so many festum appear in a remote area like this? How about that? Simuragi, could we collect that wreck up there and have it analysed? Which is the weird thing that keeps making the spooky noise. Oh, that's part of the downed Europa? I think so. And I felt some strange pulse coming from it. Oh, I felt it too, like it was calling out to something. That pulse vanished after the Macross Quarter's attack though, and when it did, the Festum also stopped appearing. Meaning the wreckage was drawing them? I think there's a good chance of that, yes. Alright, well we'll bring it back to Judah and see if they can't run a detailed analysis on it. And then Mitsuhiro uh, tells Hester she's that the spy Elvis has sent a message informing that she's escaped and is headed this way with the captured Notong model. And uh, she's ecstatic over the news and thanks him on behalf of the entire world. Uh, of course he's very happy to get a valuable specimen as well, because this will be a major step forward in their plan. Uh, she also extends her thanks to Hazard uh, for his and Associates' cooperation in this plan. And Hazard is like, oh, I just figured the drone force would be quite useful against the mind-reading Festum. Uh, but on that subject, he is quite curious. How is it that uh, only the Fafnirs are able to resist the Festum's ability to read minds? And well, 30 years ago, when the Festum first attacked, many humans became temporarily sterile due to being afflicted by a toxin released from the core of the things. And that effect was particularly strong within Japan, and there was even fear of the extinction of the Japanese people. And some Japanese people saw the gravity situation with the Festum and tried to take action. So they named their group Alvis and initiated the Arcadian Project. All the Alvis kids were conceived in an artificial uterus, uh, the fruit of genetic manipulation and created with the ability to stand up with the Festum. And what ability is that? And Hester says, the immunity to their core toxin, which is due to the fact that those people implanted their there to unborn children with Festum DNA. And then Hazard is like, holy, what the? Oh, jeez. And uh, so the Alvis uh, kids became the Festum's one and only natural predator, which as a result came with a hefty price tag of constant risk of assimilation because, you know, they're Festum. Is this Shinzo Abe I wish. But Hazard had heard uh, rumours, but he didn't expect that to be uh, the truth, and it's an unpardonable crime to have foisted such a terrible fate from the sh shoulders of innocent children. And Hester absolutely agrees, which is why they need to steal their research data, so they can find a new way to oppose the Festum. And uh, it says, that's the new uh, fact that you're developing, Dr. Bartland? The Salvatore model? And, yeah, Salvatore, yeah. And uh, he says, yep, all that is missing is a core, which is why they needed a Notong model. They'll take its core and put it in the Salvatore model. And Hazard hopes the Mitsuhiro will come through. The future of all humanity depends on him. As do his own plans. <laughs> yes, those Alvis kids will serve me nicely as weapons. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Okay, and here so you're like wow, the Macros Quarter has got a crazy gun, that's amazing. It's like yeah, they said they'd help out. Spy? Yeah, no, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like talking about the spy from the the Alvis Island, and then yeah, the question is what happened to Kazuki. For what Richard's been told, uh, it seems there was a spy at Tatsumiya, uh, Yukie Karia, former Fafna pilot cadet, and she's taken the kid. My and Kenji like, whoa, and it was like, wow. I wonder if Kazuki and our teacher were like that. Did they elope over forbidden love? So Sakura punches Kenji and he tells him to get scared. He's like, oh, jeez. So he says, he got scared and ran away. That's the long and short of it. He deserted us. And then, uh, and then uh, Sire is like, yeah. Like, Mamoru's shocked and he's like, yeah, were we the regular army? It'd be more than enough to get uh, Kazuki a date with the firing squad. It's, I mean, it seems a bit wild. But Arnie gets all the kids to calm down though, because he's also a deserter and no one here has tried to kill him. UX doesn't operate like the regular army. And then we get... So she... Tommy, from what I've heard, you were the last person Kazuki spoke to before he left, right? Minashiro. What did he say to you? Did he mention that he wanted to get away from this battle? Or maybe... That he wanted to get away from me? 
Soshi. No, he just wanted me to remember who he is. I see. I mean, and also the rest of the conversation. Where, you know, he was like, I don't, I can't understand him at all. He's not my friend anymore. Uh, I see. I, I have a question to ask too. Did Kazuki say anything to you? No, nothing. Then how can you stand there and uh, tar him as someone who ran away? This wouldn't have happened if you talked things uh, out with him. He didn't run, you pushed him away. You're the one running from him. Maya, you, you don't know anything. I thought, I thought he of all people will understand me. And I'm sure, I'm sure Kazuki thought the same about you. D Do you believe you understand someone because you're looking into their mind with your secret system? What do you really know about Kazuki? D Kazuki, I just... I mean, stop telling him that... You'd be sadder over a Fafna getting blown up than him, my dude. And then... Ugh, so it was all just an act? Your goal was to always bring a Fafna to the Federation? We're just on a submarine. Please, don't get me wrong. I said I'd bring you to a paradise and I'll keep that promise. Paradise? All I wanted was... Well, at the very least, where we're headed is paradise in my eyes. It won't be long until we get there, so you just have to be patient for a bit. She leaves. Chin up, Kazuki. I'm still showing the others will come save us. Oh, someone's coming. Hey! Shh. Nothing good will come out of them spotting you. I just have my coat and stay quiet. Don't stuff me in there. Door opens and now it's this joker again. Hey, Kazuki Makabe. Been ages, huh? Michio, what are you doing here? I swear, you've no idea how surprised I was to see that you were the Fafnir's pilot. So things got a little rough out there. Then, you were the one flying that unit? And I was. I've been running as a Fed soldier, getting deployed all over the world after my dad bought me out of Tatsumiya five years ago. Federation soldier? And, uh, can I ask you about how things are back at the island? Like, do you know what Yumiko told me he's doing nowadays? It's Yumiko? She's working as a doctor at our school infirmary and... She's a doctor? Oh, wow. Did you know her childhood dream was to move to Tokyo and become an idol singer? D really? Still, Yunko's doing well. That's good. Door opens in his cannon. So here's where you were, Triple Six. Triple Six? My code name. She doesn't need to call me that when we're not in the field, but I can't talk her out of it. Her name's Cannon, pilot of the Babylon model. My partner. So, you're in the red unit then? You'll be arriving soon, sir. Wh where are you taking me? Eastern Europe, the base of ours in the Moldovan Republic Underground, aka the Federation's anti festum Teams Research Facility. And meanwhile, yeah, Bring to Paradise does definitely sound like murder. Meanwhile, these two jokers, who we found out were in Moldova at the start of the stage, they've found said base. They heard rumours about it, and uh, it's a special research facility. Soma told him that the local solar power system stopped relaying energy and wanted to check it out. But is that really cause for concern? And Soma, who Ali keeps calling Marie, 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 over and over again, uh, thinks so. Something about uh, this is uh, bothering her. Uh, she does apologise for him to tag along, but it's not like he minds making the occasional detour and, you know, just walking about. But he figures there should be a transformer to convert the solar energy, so they should check there. And it's gone! There's a huge hole where it used to be, like it was torn out of the earth. What the hell's going on here? Okay, and then we get a support attack, all attack, a dash, and a spiritual fortitude, I believe that is. Nice, 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 